the sport and now we continue with wrestling and talented though Steve Gray the British lightweight champion may be he has given himself an awful lot to do excepting about with Barry, Bobby Barnes again doing so giving away three stones when he gave nothing away in the first two rounds and with no score we join the fight now it's when he gave nothing away in the first two rounds and with no score we join the fight now for the start of round three but he'll do his level best that's for sure he does not like losing at all Steve Gray and the next four rounds will show us whether he can hold on against this much stronger man. He'll need all his dial here. No score so far. Two falls to the side. Referee Zakash doesn't like that at all, but he can only deliver a private warning for it because he was under the bottom rope, not over the top. Now Hollis Gray landed. Not too happy at all, and Barnes was going real fast. Touch hold. Not really a slam, but a reverse double knee with the feet too far over. The knees way off the shoulders there, Barnes. The forearm is landing. Many of the crowd think that's a punch to the stomach, but it isn't. Referee watching it very carefully in case it becomes a punch, though. And he came up just right off the ropes. Perfectly legal. And Gray now starting to get the worst of this in this round here. Another backhand, another clutch hold from the front. And Barnes doing very well here. And a knee drop that finished. Ooh. What a knee drop to finish it was, too. Too early. Much too early. Public warning. Hello, the man, the man, round three. Referee Bobby Barnes, his first public warning. And Barnes, as always, looks round. At the master of ceremonies, Johnny Dale, outside the ring, what was that for? As if he didn't know. He, he took his man off the deck again. Can Greg get around? He's almost there. No. He's out of the side of it. And Barnes doesn't want to risk a straight arm level. Well, it couldn't have been the fist that landed, otherwise the referee would have given him another public block for that for sure, right in front of his nose. Yeah, and the folding press, and he's got the hands very good. He had the hands locked there. Very good to me. How great girl that one, I don't know, but he did. And here comes the counter, the straight arm left that he was trying before. And Barnes again walks to the ropes to get the break. And Gray getting a wee bit angry now. And who can blame him, really, has taken a lot of stick from this man. to go in this fourth round and really Barnes is uh, overstepping the mark a bit here I think that's uh, we could be in for another public one soon there's still no score shoulder blades must be down now if Barnes can hold that beautiful that shot perfect time. 30 seconds, round three. 
as you knew again, and was that a punch or not? The crowd can so. Barnes assuring us that it was a forearm, and I think it probably was. The referee was right on the spot. Ten seconds. And again, Barnes on the attack with his double arm. But he didn't have to hurry. He's only got four seconds. Too late. And anyway, Gray came back right on the bell there, beautifully. Barnes didn't like it, but it was probably legal comeback. Now he's briefing to the referee. And his second or anybody will listen. And Barnes being a little anxious now, racing over to Gray's corner. Ollie Barnes, the blonde head wrestler from Lewisham, getting out a little bit worried. Asking for the crowd to come with him a bit instead of always being against him, but he won't get that here. Not against Gray. And punch. The blind side of the left, that the forearm was okay. He makes sure the forearm lands when the ref's there. Again the double leg grab, again the folding press with the arms locked, and this time he's done it great, couldn't maneuver out of that one at all. So it's the first one to Barnes in round four. It took him just 40 seconds into round four. MC John Dale to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, round four, a folding body press, first ball, Bobby Bowen. So Bobby Barnes now, not quite so anxious as he was being in round three when he couldn't get that score and had one public warning against him. He still got the public warning, but now he's leading by one four and eight. Two rounds to go, and Barnes again comes across to Gray's corner to try and finish this off two to nil. And Steve Gray looks very weakened at the moment. He may be laying it on a bit for Barnes' benefit. And a public point number two. Bobby Barnes received his second, and finally, Project Ori. And he still turns round to anybody who will listen and say, says what for. And it's Gray going in now with the drop kicks. That's what he needs, the distance moves. Onto the timekeeper's table, but Bill, the timekeeper, has really got all the way past them. But he's just in time to get another one. Oh yes, nice timing by Gray over the top of the rest of Beautiful. The equalizer to Gray in just one minute, five seconds of round five. Beautifully done. And a very popular equalizer indeed. But everybody except Bobby Barnes. There he is, Steve Gray, and one round to go. And gentlemen, round five with a headmare, double knee press, equalizing for Steve. And tremendous applause from this packed capacity crowd here at the Fairfield Hall Croydon for Steve Gray getting that equalizer back in the match now. Two public warnings against his opponent, but one fall each. And one round to go. Round six now. Can Gray do it? Gray in the black trunks. Giving away so much weight, but doing so well so far. Now he's back in it with a chance. The crowd hoping he might get a quick winner here. He's trying to. And then the drop kick, that's the sort of thing that Gray must do another one. Beauty. Barnes trying to protect his chin there with his hand. He may have done so, but he didn't start him moving over. Oh yes. This time, no. This time, no. Gray missed time. That one has hurt his right leg, I think, the knee. I'm not sure. But he's in trouble. And, of course, Barnes goes straight for the folding press to try and get the winner. And he's got it. Oh, bad luck. Gray hurt his, his right leg there. Referee looking at it now. 
and of course directly Barnes spotted it. He went straight for the winning hole and got it. Two to one, Barnes the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, in the final round, the folding body press, the deciding ball, and the winner, Bobby! Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation, very sporting loser, Steve!